think my dad inspired me to play baseball. I think it was at a real young age where I just kind of just took over. Uh, I could always throw a baseball really hard. Whenever I got my first college offer, it was after my sophomore summer, there was one place I wanted to go and I eventually got that opportunity. We finished our last weekend of non-conference play. We're heading in to play Florida for the first SEC weekend. Season got canceled. A lot of guys didn't know what was next. Everyone kind of went their own separate ways. I went back home and started working. There was a lot of speculation about the draft, whether or not they're gonna have one, when is it gonna be? Draft happened, I believe, early June, and uh, got drafted by the Mariners. With the sixth pick of the 2020 MLB draft, the Seattle Mariners select Emerson Hancock, a right-handed pitcher from the University of Georgia. I remember, you know, kind of being around a lot of close family friends who had been there and supported me through everything. I remember getting the call at pick five, just everything kind of flashes before you. I just started breaking down, I started crying. Um, the FaceTime uh, when uh, Scott Hunter called me, like I really couldn't make words out of it. Emerson Hancock, how are you brother? Congratulations, man. Welcome to the Mariners. Yeah, so I got immediately thrown to the alt site. So I signed, we went there. Uh, we were kind of training as much as we could, um, having inter-squad games. I was kind of hurt, so I really didn't get a whole lot of time, which was very difficult for me. But, you know, the difference is just the level of play. You know, the, the margin of error shrinks a little bit. I'd never really seen the game from the side that I have once I got drafted and that was very difficult because I wanted to come in, I wanted to earn the respect of my teammates, a lot of the people in this organization. And when you're not on the field, you can't really do that. But you know, once you stop feeling sorry for yourself and you just keep showing up and working and surround yourself with great people, like the Mariners have helped me a ton, you'll, you'll get back to where you want to be. Obviously, I mean, the year didn't start off the way that I wanted it to. The, the week before camp, the lockout ends, you get hurt, right? You see the guys break camp and go to Arkansas and you're not with them. I'm here working, trying to get back, but, you know, making every one of those starts the rest of the way was huge for me. I felt like the support system I had and the things I went through, I never really lost belief in myself that I could do these things. I just knew if I got back to where I need to be that, you know, we could start having a little bit more success. I uh, got the opportunity to go back to the Futures game. Great opportunity, awesome, great time, great players. Couldn't have been a better event. And then finish off the season strong. 0-2 pitch, got him swinging. Hancock climbs the ladder with a 96. I think it's cool because guys are in, in different spots and experiences and you know having them as resources and just watching how do they go about it? How do they treat their bullpens? How do they treat their throwing program? What are they doing in the weight room? I love being with the guys that we have in the clubhouse. I love seeing the guys you know, that you've played with have success. And exactly like you said, a year ago, they were kind of going through the same thing. So having those questions and having those experiences with people who are so willing to share and help, it makes it really special. O2 pitch, got him swinging. An impressive three pitch K for Hancock. Do the work as hard as I possibly can, believe in myself, be the best teammate I can be and try to win as many ball games on a team as I can.